Today we're just going to talk about what I did and didn't get done this month. How my gaming's going. And where I see things going from there. So, this month I finished three projects. The first project I finished was um, a group of Sylvanian peasant levy for vampire counts using the Warhammer Army Projects book. Now, of course, the old world came out in the last couple weeks, so, you know, that's cool. There's no real rule carryover for them, unfortunately. But I did get that done. Then the second thing I got done was a unit of three Blade Guard veterans. Um, I'm calling them the Blade Guard Captain, Blade Guard Lieutenant, and the Blade Guard Ancient. Technically not their titles, but everyone knows the miniatures I'm talking about. Um, and I, last squat model I have, it was actually a, um, Mantic miniature for their GPC army called a Hornet. It's an aircraft. I magnetized it. And that brings my squats up to 3000 points. A lot of the models are different companies. One second. Unfortunately, about half of them, uh, for using Dark Angel rules, I've always used Dark Angel rules for them, are now considered legendary. Get in the camera, Jason. So, that is what it is. Now, next month, well, currently I'm working on another Wild West Exodus terrain piece. I will be working on some Admech, some Imperial Guard, and some Battle Tech. I'm hoping to have all those done by the end of February. So when we do another one of these, first week of March, we'll do that. Also currently playing in one D&D campaign, and we're a little bit on hold for the Star Wars D20, or 5th uh, edition D&D-based rule system campaign. We're fourth level in the homebrew d and I'm playing a thief. Um, we lost our first player character tonight. It's kind of sad. It actually was a little emotional, but wizards should not charge into combat. Just d and basics. So, Next week, we will be posting some more Freedom Force. And then, um, we'll see. Ooh, my chair just popped. And after that, we'll see where we go. Happy game.